honorable member for Corozal North, um, let's not play political games with education and with our school children. This matter of school transportation for children um, is an ongoing challenge. It has been for many, many years. When I was previously in government as the Minister of Education, uh, it's been a challenging issue. Um, as it was over the last decade, it has been a challenging issue. Problems arise from time to time. As a government, as a people, we have understood and appreciated the importance of investing in public transportation for our students. As a country, we're now spending over $10 million a year on school bus transportation for students. So I'm not sure if you're interested in a solution or if you came here today just to score some cheap political point. Um, you, could have, you could have easily, I never heard from you about this matter. You could have easily reached out to me if you were so concerned about these students. You could have reached out to the Ministry of Education about this matter. Um, but no, you rather wait and come here and try to score some cheap political points. But I'll, I'll allow you that, I'll allow you that and say, listen, if there are any issues, any problems with school bus transportation, we are always prepared to address them. Uh, if the incident you describe is accurate, uh, then I certainly will have them look into that matter uh, to determine whether or not that school bus contractor uh, violated his contract, the terms of his contract whether or not he acted inappropriately. We can certainly do so, uh, but it would be very helpful if you had reported the matter to the Ministry of Education.